I'm Anna Quincoses from Skinny Latina. I started Skinny Latina officially in 2013, but I started making our original marinade way, way before that when my girls were little and I was running a busy law practice. It was just for me a solution to get food on the table really quick for my family, but I also of course wanted it to taste really good. You know, I'm Cuban and for us, cooking is about expressing love. It's about nurturing and the demand for it just started growing. My friends, my neighbors, everybody wanted some of this. I started making it in mason jars for them. And then I did something crazy. I decided I was gonna stop being a lawyer so that I can make Skinny Latina. Around the same time that I was going to launch Skinny Latina, Bravo came knocking and asked me to be part of the Real Houses of Miami. And while it's not something that anyone would have ever thought that I should have done or would have done. I was thinking about Skinny Latina and how that platform could really help me grow it and take it to the next level. And it, it did definitely help. After that, I did Food Network Star, which was a really, really good thing for me because it was the first time where I got food cred from chefs and other people. And I honestly went there thinking that I would be the first person uh, sent home. For sure, that was my biggest fear on Food Network Star, that I would go home at week one. And week after week, I was surprised that they didn't um, send me home. And I, I stayed till the very end, which is really kind of a big deal. And just getting the accolades from the judges was something that I needed that kind of confidence to keep going. And then that's when I met Marcus soon after that. I've bumped into him a couple of times in my life and, and, and it's funny because my dad worked for his grandfather at Anthony Abraham Chevrolet. I remember being on Twitter and, and talking about how I was having trouble scaling my business and he actually responded. And that's when we decided to kind of explore Skinny Latina together and he, it wasn't easy. Marcus puts you through the ringer, but it's tough love and it's tough love that I needed. You know, I've always felt that my dad has everything to do with what happens to me. My dad had Alzheimer's and passed away a little over 10 years ago, and he's just kind of what fuels me. And the fact that Marcus said to me one time when he saw a picture of my dad that he knew my dad and that when my dad worked at his grandfather's business, he was this porter that he would bring the car around for my dad, like the new cars. And I couldn't believe it. I started crying because I, I realized that this was supposed to happen, that Marcus was supposed to become my business partner, that that was really the only way that I would get Skinny Latina to the next level was with somebody with his kind of expertise and even the tough love and everything else. Today, Skinny Latina's growing, we're expanding our SKUs. I really believe that I'm like the Pied Piper of cooking. I want everyone to cook. I wanna make it easy for you and that's why I created Skinny Latina. So my philosophy of cooking, and whether it's been in my cookbooks or my videos or any time I create a recipe, is to make something really, really simple so that when you put it in front of your children, your family, they have no idea that it's an easy recipe. They just know that it's delicious. And if I create something foolproof like Skinny Latina, you can't mess up. So you have no excuse, now you gotta cook.